Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Racial and gender inequality are issues we talk about every single day on this show. And while at times the disparity can seem overwhelming, the silver lining is that we are raising awareness and there are people doing something about it. Like the 20 women of color from the film and TV industry who came together to create an organization to affect change in Hollywood. And today we're so honored to be joined by the founding members of Real Divas and pioneers for women of color in television and film, Terry J. Vaughn, Kat Seegers, Beatles, and Ty Johnson. Ladies, yes. welcome to the show. Yes, 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 yes. This is so exciting for all of us here at Sister Circle. We're so grateful that you all came together for Real mm -hmm. Divas. Now, for people who don't know, what exactly is the Real Divas initiative? Terry, you want to start off? Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, so Real Divas started off as um, Actually, Cass and I had a conversation like over a year ago about wanting to do one of those iconic photos yes. that they do in the entertainment um, mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. of, I can't It was the source like, or was like, like the variety. Yes. 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 So, but we wanted to do one with right. all the women <laughs> right. that work here in Atlanta creating content, whether it's um, uh, writers, directors, producers, <sighs> because there's so many of us here yes. that are working hard behind the scenes and getting stuff done but nobody knows who we are, right? right? Mm -hmm. So it started off as wanting to do this picture. Yeah. Uh, we we dragged Ty <laughs> along for the ride because she's so effective yes, she in is. making things yes. happen, yes. the producer that she is. Yes, Rattler. And we're uh -huh. all over the place. We're like, I want this picture. <laughs> Um, and we brought Ty along and she actually brought, brought it all in, together. Wow. Um, got, got all the women together. We all just called on women that we knew and loved and we respected their work and their power players Gosh. in the game. Yeah. And nobody knows their name. Yeah, right. Wow. And, you know, in this business, it's like to, to get the big paychecks, to get the job, mm -hmm. to continue working, it's like you have to know you people have to, have to know who you are. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. And you yes. guys are so open. That's what it was yeah. for. You're opening it up, the, the applications uh, coming up uh, in 2020. What's the process like to be a part of Real Divas? <laughs> yes. Well, right now, we actually are going to focus on the first twin. Okay, got it. Um, mm. and, and really focus on us getting us out there, getting our names out there, hopefully getting some funding behind the projects that we want to do. But in 2020, we will open it up, and there will be a certain criteria, and you'll have to go to the Real Divas website to get it. Ah. Yeah. Okay. You know, we, we talk about diversity and inclusion in Hollywood. But, but what can we do and what can you all do as a part of this organization mm -hmm. for, for the inclusion for these new women? Well, you know, we're really an advocacy group and we want to consider ourselves more as a professional guild. So, you know, where we are right now, we're looking to demand certain things that we want. And those things that we really want are to, you know, dive in and make sure that everybody's work is noticed, it's mm -hmm. promoted. We want to make sure that, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the women that are writers, producers, and directors, that they're excited about their work and not just for the moment, yeah. but for the time. Right, right, right. Yeah. And we get the budgets behind our yes. work. A yes. lot of times Atlanta, especially in our market, especially when it is diverse urban content, our budgets are lower. Our budgets yes. are a third lower. And wow. why is that? that? Is, yeah. <laughs> well, why is that? Why is why that? Why is that? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a really good Even question. Even though the, 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 the stories are just as important, if not more, but yeah. less budget. And still make the money. Right. Right. Yeah. So fighting for things like that, for not just us, but for these original 20. And then also inviting and having, um, putting the message out in networking events, in meetups, to younger women going into this industry. Yes. And letting them know, you know, your work, your voice, your talent. Talent is powerful, mm -hmm. yeah. but demand what you want. How do you continue to accelerate the process, though? Although mm -hmm. we've made a lot of progress, right. obviously, with this initiative and yeah. where our voices are louder and being more vocal, how do we accelerate the process, though? What do right. we need to do? So I think that this is a part of it, and yeah. this is why we decided to bring all these voices together, yeah, okay. because what we do know is that there's more power together. Right. Yes. And so we always talk about wanting to do stuff together, but everybody, you know, we have our own journeys, our yeah. own lanes. Everybody 
everybody's doing their own thing. But the minute that we brought all these women together and we put that picture out, yes. we got noticed. Wow. But individually, yeah. not so much. Yeah. Right. And the deadline were, you know, for them, they just said, oh, we want it. We want it. So now people want to know who we are. Right. Yes. Yes. More so we want to know, I'm we, we want to make sure that they right. know our work. I'm getting chills. Well, yeah. Do, do yeah. you find that it's more difficult as, as a group of women? And if so, why? Especially when you, they see you as a group, when they see this unity, mm -hmm. is it still as difficult? Well, like we said, it's it's been actually more inviting. Yes. It's like we've yeah. gotten noticed and recognized yes. more from bringing our voices right. together yeah. than and the we were question, individually. A really good question. People are asking now, what is it that you guys want? Yeah. Yes. And that's yes. been a question yeah. that we haven't gotten just as, as a duo, as a, you know, a, a single. It's, so I think the power is definitely. So what is so the what answer is it? to the yeah, question? What do you yeah. want? What is the <laughs> what's the collective want? We want bigger budgets. Yep. Mm -hmm. We want consistent work, and we want exposure for our work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, just yeah. Just yeah. it's just that yeah. simple. Yeah, we broke it down before we even came here. Yeah. Like we had our own personal powwow, you know, yeah. especially with a lot of the ladies. Okay. Yeah. Because we, they're all professional women working. Yes. We're not asking for anything. Yeah. Just just fair. Right fair. Just be fair. Just be my God. We're gonna have more with the real divas right after this. My goodness. And just like that, we're back on <laughs> Sister Circle Live, and we're still joined by Terry J. Vaughn, Cass Seegers Beatles, and Ty Johnston Chavis, also known as the Real Diva. That's right, R E E L. Yeah. Get it yes. right. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, Cass, I want to talk to you in particular. Uh, yes. You have the power of the pen. You've written six novels, 15 feature films. Yes. Talk about the diversity of your writing and how it helps you as a director and screenwriter. Oh, wow. Um, um, diversity in my writing, I love comedy, but I also love drama. And a crazy thing is a lot of times they try to pigeonhole you. The great thing about Nina Holiday is that we get to choose yes. and we get to write in both. Mm -hmm. um, what I have learned, I, I directed my first feature this summer. It mm -hmm. actually comes out next year. Yes. And thank you. And what I learned <laughs> That's is, us on that set. That is yes. us on set for the waiting room yes. where Sean was starting one of our projects. Yes. Um, is directing is definitely different. Mm. I stay in my head. I'm in my head, I live in my head, I love living in my head. As a writer, I constantly create stories. I had to talk to people. Yeah. This one was on set, and she's like, are you gonna say cut? And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> because I'm constantly writing. Yeah. Um, I, love, I love what I do, um, and I definitely see the directing field opening up more, yes. um, but I would love to direct big projects like heist movies. Yeah, you know, those are the type of things that I think I would love to move in that direction. Well, I love how you directed me. You were, mm -hmm. you were fantastic. She's amazing. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. I love her. And Ty, you are the founder of the Atlanta mm -hmm. Pitch Summit. Yes. Tell us more about that project. Well, the Atlanta Pitch Summit is an annual event, and so it's you know to sum it up, it is where um, content creators meet distribution. Mm. So it's a marketplace, and it's a weekend um, filled with writers, producers, directors, agents, uh, talent, um, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. you know, and, and those executives, key executives that are able to make decisions and green light projects or push the, another project into the next production phase. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. And I know that makes you feel good to, mm -hmm. when you bring these people together and you see someone's project take off. What does that make you feel like? You know what? Someone described it to me. They told me it was my ministry. Oh, yeah. You know, absolutely. I just kind of, I, I, I own that now and yes. I feel like I'm really responsible. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, they call me. I mean, I get I'm, I'm getting pitched all year round. Yeah. You don't have to wait for the summit, yeah. you know, but just to know that that connection is there, I feel like, you know, um, I feel responsible in some yes. way. And I'm excited about it because this is why we want to make sure that people's work is pushed, you yes. know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's meaningful. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And uh Miss Terry J Vaughn, your yes, Christmas movies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Christmas. I'm sorry. Terry Christmas. I don't know how much Terry time Christmas. we have left in this segment. But oh! I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to get them all in. Okay. Because I do have four movies airing this uh, Christmas season. Go ahead. Christmas Bells, uh, starring Raven Goodwin, Dominique Perry, Janet Hubert, which is the first mother on The Fresh Prince, yes. and John Amos airs November 23rd on BET and all BET right Her. Go ahead. Right. Hip Hop Holiday airs on BET and BET Her November 30th, starring Taronda Jones, Wendy Raquel Robinson, and Andre Fuller. Written okay. by Cass Sears. Uh, uh, Twas the chaos before Christmas. Twas. Uh, starring Sherry Shepard.
Shepard, Cynthia McWilliams, Avion Crockett, and Victoria oh. Raul yes. airs on BET December 7th. Okay, okay. now. And BET Her at 8 o'clock. And? And Dear Santa, <laughs> Come on. I Need a Date <laughs> yes, yes. airs December 8th on TV One yes. starring Ray J, Reagan Gomez Preston, and Anna Marie Johnson. Oh, yes. 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 yes! Get the carnage, baby! Yes. 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 Which one of those movies am I in? <laughs> Trina! Trina. Yes. You were Skip just in it! Oh, that's right! <laughs> yes. 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 You were just in our uh, movie! No, that's what yes. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Hip-hop holiday! 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 Hip-hop holiday!